In activity one, what is a solid? Students use different methods to determine the characteristics of solids. They first observe the shape of two solid objects and then measure the dimensions of the solid objects. Students conclude that a solid does not change size or shape when moved from one location or container to another. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity sheet one, eight foam blocks and eight wooden blocks. You will also need to provide the following items, metric rulers and boxes. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 1 for each student. Each team of two will need a box large enough to hold either the wooden or the foam block and a metric ruler. Each set of two teams will need to share a wooden block and a foam block. To begin the activity, give each group of four a block of wood and a block of foam and tell the students to examine them carefully. Ask students, how would you describe these blocks? Students may suggest that one is wood and one is foam, that the objects are blocks, or that they are solid. If the class has not mentioned it, explain that blocks are solids and that solid is a state of matter that maintains its own shape and volume. Next, ask students, what is shape? Guide students to understand that shape is the form or outline of an object. Then, ask the students to describe the shape of the blocks. Students may say that the blocks are rectangles or cubes. If students do not know the difference between a square and a rectangle, draw the two shapes on the board and label them, and explain that the shape of the student's blocks is rectangular. Next, ask students, what is size? Students should understand that size is how big or small an object is. Ask students, how could you measure the size of one of these blocks? Guide students to suggest that they could measure the length of each side of the block with a ruler. Hand out a copy of Activity Sheet 1 to each student and give each team of two a ruler and a box and either a wooden or foam block. Instruct students to place the block on the table and observe and record its shape. Then have students measure the length of three different sides and record their measurements on their activity sheets. When each team has finished measuring their block and recording the measurements, have them exchange blocks with another team and repeat the measuring and recording with the other type of block. Explain to students that to predict is to make a guess about what will probably happen in a certain situation based on previous experience. Then display one of the boxes and ask students, what do you predict will happen to both the shape and size of the blocks when they are moved from the table to a box? Students should record their predictions on their activity sheets and then test their predictions by moving the block to the box and measuring the block again. When each team has finished measuring their block and recording the measurements, have them exchange blocks with their partner team and repeat the process with the other type of block. After the students have moved and measured the other type of block, have them complete their activity sheets. Next, discuss the students' results and ask, what happened to the shapes and sizes of the blocks when they were moved from one place to another? Students should have noticed that there was no change in the size or shape of blocks as they were moved. Encourage students to describe solids besides the block that they are familiar with. They may mention desks, tables, chairs, and so on. Explain to students that a property is a special quality that something has and that we often use our senses to describe the properties of an object. Help students see that one of the properties of a solid is that it does not change its size or shape even when placed in a container of another shape or size, such as the block in the box. To conclude the activity, collect the boxes and rulers and return the blocks to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.